as I look around, there are a lot of people that uh, that our family knows and loves, and we're grateful that you came. I was just looking at that picture over there of him, and I thought that's an appropriate bookend. He's leaning against an old Ford pickup that we bought about the time that Laren moved into where we were living. Um, and I was in, I was one of the scout leaders at that time. And uh, the first outdoor activity Will ever had, we went to City of Rock in that truck, and he ended up screaming at the top of his lungs because he had an ear infection. And we had to drive home in the middle of the night because we just couldn't stand being out there in the tent with this screaming boy all day. Um, but, and sometimes I think, as I think back, I wonder, was the pain so bad or was it because of Will's intensity? If there was something that I would ever use to describe Will, it would be intense. Um, he, when he wants to do something, <laughs> He does it. When he doesn't want to do something, that's a different issue. <laughs> but he really wants to do something, and he knows it's important. He does it. And uh, for that, I'm, I'm truly grateful, Rip Um A week ago, tonight, I was back in the Midwest on a business trip, and I was driving home with a, driving from our meetings up to, to the town where my hotel was with this gentleman who's a uh, uh, vice president of one of the organizations and we were talking I said that I have a son getting an Eagle Scout and he said I was an Eagle Scout and he went off to talk about that and he said you know I get lots of resumes coming across my desk you know tens or you know 20 or 30 a week and I look through them he says Eagle Scout I look at it because I've never gone wrong hiring an Eagle Scout. I, and he said, "There, I'm sure there. I'm sure I'm biased. I'm sure there are a lot of good people. I have people who aren't Eagle Scouts, but I can tell you that every time I choose an Eagle Scout, it works for me." Um, so, just another plug for you, young men. Go work at it. Get it done. Um, Scouting is really interesting because it's not a church organization, but the church has chosen it to be the activity arm of the priesthood. And it's not there to replace it or to supplant it in any way, but it's there to strengthen it and to be a means of building a brotherhood amongst these young men. Um, It's a means of creating men. And uh, those of you who know us, we have we have eight girls, seven of them are boys. <laughs> in our family. Uh, is it? <laughs> to the chagrin of my wife, it's a testosterone thing. Home. <laughs> One of the things that we strive to do as a mother and father is create solid, righteous, strong young men. The scouting <clears throat> is how you do it. We buy these little boys these uniforms. When we buy them for them, they're really big. That was Will's uniform. And I remember when he had that, it just sort of flopped all over when we first got it. <laughs> And as he got older, he sort of grew into it, and then he's a wee blow when it's a little tight. Um, and then we go buy them a scout uniform, and uh, they, they start all over. They go from being the little boy of the boys to the bigger of the little boys. And then we buy them a uniform. <clears throat> we'll stand up. Please turn around. Show them how tight that uniform is on you. <laughs> we bought it when he was, and we bought it when he was a little boy. Go ahead and sit down. And it flopped all over him. We buy these uniforms for these little boys, and they're little boys in a group of boys. 
and they grow. They grow physically. We don't have much control over what they do as they grow physically. But we do have a lot of control over what they grow into emotionally, spiritually, intellectually. And so we get to take these young men out into the woods, get to teach them how to build fires in the rain, get rained on, we get cold, teach them how to jump into lakes with ice on it. In fact, if anybody wants, I have a picture, a movie of Joseph jumping into a, a lake with ice floating everywhere, troops of snow. Um, we teach them how to do things that are difficult. We do it when they're young because if we tried to do that when they're 16 or 17, two things would happen. One, it would kill us old guys because we couldn't keep up with them. Number two, they would already know everything and we couldn't teach it to them anyway. <laughs> so we do this. We take them out. We give them confidence. We help them grow. They fill out these uniforms as they become older, as they gain experience. And I've watched Will do this. And I watch my boys, my other boys do this. It makes me proud. So, Will's got this uniform that's too tight. He's moved from the little boy of the little boys to the little boy of the big boys. Now he's the big, <clears throat> now he's the big boy of the boys. Joseph going to beatbox to that. <laughs> and now he moves into a different period of his life. He's going to be the boy of the men. Where he steps into life and he starts doing something different. He's going to head out on a mission soon. He's going to come home. He's going to start to date more intently. He's going to look for a wife. <coughs> He's going to go to school. He's going to try to do all these things that most of us are in the process of doing or have done. But he's got to grow into a different uniform now. Then he will turn around and he'll serve. And he will learn to love the young men that he serves. Become a part of his life. Excuse me, I have a lot of scouts. I, I got about 50 of them running through my head. Every one of them, which I love. And he'll turn around and serve them. As a father, I'm proud of you, Will. running into you at Home Depot or wherever. I promise you I will always, always know who you are. Because as I've been around you, I've learned to love you too. Now you boys are going into new uniforms. So with that, Will, come here. stand in front of a bunch of young men and you get to change their lives. And you get to grow and teach the next generation of men just like all these men. Because what do they want from you? They want you to become a strong, righteous, Will, I love you. And I want everybody to know how.
how important this is. We have a world full of warm bodies. We have a world full of males who are just warm bodies. And you can see them walking around. We don't grow warm bodies here. We grow men. And I leave that with you.